It has been a really wild yeah. four years, yeah. frankly. But what do we need to achieve the sort of change that you want to see? We need for your cadets to keep uh, doing what they're doing right now. We need for them to mature from 10-year-old cadets to 17-year-old high school graduates to 21, 22-year-old college graduates with technical degrees who aspire to get into the space program and, uh, and become scientists, engineers, doctors, you name it. Uh, but for some of them uh, to put their names in the hat to become astronauts. And today, they don't have to be a NASA astronaut or an ESA astronaut or a, a Chinese astronaut. They can actually go to the private sector and become corporate astronauts. Virgin Galactic has their own cadre of astronauts who fly suborbital flights, granted, on uh, Spaceship Two right now. Um, I think Virgin, I think um, Blue Origin will probably have a small cadre of their own astronauts. Boeing, uh, the, the first commander was Chris was was set to be Chris Ferguson, a Boeing astronaut. So you, they can now, you know, people like Maria and others can go to the private sector and become astronauts because there there are now test pilot schools in the private sector. Whereas when I came up, there were only two in the United States. There was the U.S. Naval Test Pilot School in Patuxent River, Maryland, and the, the Air, U.S. Air Force Aerospace Test Pilot School at Edwards Air Force Base out in California. Today, there is a private test pilot school in Mojave, and I, my guess is there are others all over the place. So lots of opportunities today. So your space cadets need to study really hard, work really hard, and not be afraid of failure. Don't let anybody tell them what they cannot do. And if they don't get selected the first time, don't worry about it. Uh, one of my favorite astronauts um, applied 11 times before he was finally selected. 